The life of Troy Aikman seems to be defined by a round-trip ticket from Southern California to the Southwest. Born in Cerritos, California, he moved to Oklahoma at the age of 12. Recruited by the Sooners, it didn't work. He moved to UCLA at the age of 21. Needing to prove his leadership, he took the Bruins to Dallas and won the Cotton Bowl at the age of 22. And now at the age of 26, he takes the trip again, going from Dallas to the Rose Bowl, his home stadium in college, in hopes of winning Super Bowl 27. Troy Aikman, our Sunday conversation with Joe Theismann. Aikman, a straight drop, good protection. Over the middle, it's caught by Kelvin Martin at the two, racing to the goal line, touchdown! Touchdown, Cowboys! This team's going to Pasadena. Has the reality hit home yet? I, I think it finally dawned on me. Uh, and I'm not overwhelmed by it. In fact, uh, you know, now now it's all business. We, I mean, we got to win. It, it, it's great. It was great there for three days to enjoy and say we're going to the Super Bowl and I'm going to get to quarterback a team in the Super Bowl and and that's fine. But uh, I don't want to lose this one. I, I know how you get labeled when you lose the Super Bowl and I don't want any part of that. What do you remember about that first one in fifteen or the one in fifteen season? What do you remember about that? Um, I would, <clears throat> I'd like to not remember anything about that season, but I remember it all. It was, I didn't win a game that season. I was 0 for 11 in 89 and uh, missed a few games because of a broken finger. And uh, I think the thing that I probably remember the most is we're playing Phoenix and we're down by, by four points with a minute and something left. And, and I threw, stepped up in the pocket, threw the ball. We completed for a 75-yard touchdown. I got knocked unconscious for like five or ten minutes. I thought I was going to experience my first win. And three plays later, they scored to, to beat us. And uh, at that point, I, I thought that I would not win a game that year. And it was true. You woke up, and it was like <laughs> a nightmare, not a dream. It was tough. Jimmy has made reference to that football team. And I don't know whether you, you take that as an insult because you were a part of it. He said his football team at the University of Miami the year before, if they were to play that Cowboy team, and he was the coach of the Miami team, they'd accuse him of running the score up. Is, then, that, is that pretty accurate, the, the way that ball yeah, played? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. And I'll tell you, one of the reasons why I wanted to come to Dallas out of college was because they had been 3-13 and 13 my senior year of college, and I always said that they're a much better team than that. They got more talent than that. That's why I wanted to come here. And you made them 1-15. <laughs> well, they got rid of all the talent. <laughs> we got one guy, Herschel Walker. They trade him. Obviously, those things worked out, but that was the way we were going to do things. We brought in different players every week, and um, so... Yeah, Miami could have beat us. Northwestern could have beat us. I mean, you take your pick. <laughs> At times during that season, you, you know, you were, as you mentioned, you were critical of Jimmy. And, and when did your relationship change with Jimmy Johnson? Some of Jimmy and, and my problems uh, began when, when Steve Walsh was acquired through the supplemental draft. And, and that is, uh, to a certain extent, when it began. And uh, Jimmy wanted to not show favoritism to Steve because he had taken him to a national championship in college. Uh, nor to me because I was the first pick in the draft. He removed himself from that situation and, and really kind of isolated himself from Steve and I both. And, and I think that uh, during that time with the season that we were having, with, with so much pressure that I was feeling by being the number one pick, uh, I, I could have used somebody to really talk to, and, and, and he wasn't around for that. And, and I think that through that, some problems began. Um, I think that the, the improvement has occurred over the last four years, really. We do have one game left to play. Yeah. Hey, fantastic, 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 every single one of you. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them Cowboys? Yeah. I've learned his personality. I understand now what he's all about. Uh, he understands what I'm all about. And, and I think through it all now, uh, we understand each other to the point that, that, you know, we get along fine. Why do you sort of take a little bit of a lower profile? I mean, you're the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, America's new team. <laughs> That's right. Um, well, I, I have just, I've never played the game. I've never played sports or uh, anything like that to try to draw attention to myself or, or uh, to be in the spotlight. In fact, if it was a perfect world for me, 
uh, there would be no media coverage on what we do, and of course uh, we wouldn't make the salaries. We I was make, just going to say, there's a double. <laughs> everything else would be the same. <laughs> You've been somewhat labeled when you came here because of that cowboyish nature. Now you're a cowboy, as a country boy. I mean, is that a, is that fair? Are you are you country? It depends on who you compare me with. I mean, if you stick me up against Jay Novacek, no, I'm the biggest city slicker you've ever seen in your life. I mean, I can't even ride a horse. And, and then if you compare me with someone else, then, then yes, I, I do enjoy country music. Uh, I've got a, a great deal of friends within that industry. Uh, I enjoy being out on the ranch. Uh, we had cattle and lived on a ranch when I was growing up in Oklahoma. Uh, outside of that, uh, no. So real cowboys would be seriously offended to hear someone call me a cowboy. Have you had a chance to get to know Jim Kelly much in no, your yeah. season now? You get the, I, yeah. I, you hang out with Jim a little bit? <laughs> uh, we, we have a few different events that we run into each other at, yeah. What do you think of Jim? I like Jim. I, I really do. I, I think he's a, he's a great competitor. Uh, he and I get along great. Uh, we always have. Uh, he was very good to me when I first met him as a senior in college, and uh, he, he's, a, he's a little bit different, you know. He kind of does his own thing, but, I, but you know, I, I, enjoy, uh, I enjoy watching him go to work. If you had a chance to say something to Jimmy, which you're gonna, because I'm asking you the question, if you had something you wanted uh, to say to him getting ready for this one, what would it be? I can't. I, I, what I, I'm going to tell him, well, I just hope that uh, I want to be able to give him a hard time when I see him after this thing's over and, and say that I won my first one and, and he hadn't won one yet. That's what I want to be able to say. And hopefully it'll happen. Because if it doesn't, he, now he's going to really rub it in. <laughs>